All right. Greg? Sorry. So we had Ash on the show before. Right. He talked about some things that you could be thinking about ahead of time for retirement relating to Social Security. But as a compliment, and I totally think if you're watching this at home, you should watch both episodes together, you know, as a compliment, let's say, you know, somebody our age or maybe even a little older wants to start thinking about retirement. What are some things they could be thinking about, you know, to get themselves in line? Sure. Um, so one of the things that you want to be thinking about is where you're investing your money, not just are you saving money, but where you're saving it. You know, most people talk about diversification or what they mean is stocks versus bonds versus cash and do I own the right mix of the three? But when I talk to people about diversification, I talk about from a tax standpoint. So different types of accounts are going to receive different tax treatment in retirement. So mm -hmm. IRAs and 401ks are taxed very differently than Roth IRAs or cash value life insurance, which is taxed very differently than yeah. brokerage accounts. So you can mm -hmm. think about some of those things today to put yourself in a better position when you ultimately get there. What do I have to think about in terms of how they're taxed? Do I have to think about that? Do I just say, like, I'm going to call Greg, and Greg is going to know how all this stuff is taxed, and that's why Greg exists? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, well, you really want to set yourself up because if you're coming to me a couple of years before retirement, chances are you've already put money into some of these different vehicles. Hmm. Um, it's my belief that taxes are probably going to be a heck of a lot higher down the road than they are hmm. today. So for me, it makes more sense to put money into Roth type vehicles where I'm not getting a tax break today, but when I pull the money out down the road, it's all yeah. coming out tax free. Yeah. Ooh, pro tip. an IRA where I do get the tax deduction today, but it's almost like an adjustable rate mortgage on your account. You're going to be pulling it out at some future unknown tax rate. And my guess is those rates could be a lot higher than they are now. Hmm. That's, that's really interesting, something to think about. I, uh, I had a 401 a long time ago, and I rolled it into a Roth, so I didn't, not a Roth, an, a regular IRA, so I didn't pay the tax penalty. Um, and I think about that often. <laughs> <laughs> While you're awake at night. You know, I think about three that. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Should yeah. I have really rolled it into that IRA? I mean, I didn't have a choice. It was either that or like a $30,000 tax bill. Uh. Yeah, because I had built up a decent sized 401 and then it was either roll it into an IRA and pay no penalty or roll it into a Roth IRA and pay taxes on all of that pre-tax stuff. And that was when I realized what it means to be an adult. <laughs> 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 I mean, it was one of those really, really practical conversations with myself where I just had to think about what to do with money. And it, Could you have paid the tax out of the account? Or yes. were you going to need to come up with $30,000 cash, let's say? I, I think I would have need, yeah, because it wasn't liquid. It was a Roth IRA. So I would have needed to come up with thirty grand, like out of my checking account, oh. which I did not, <laughs> I did not have. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, that was a hard conversation. Right. But, you know. And everyone's situation is unique. A lot of 401ks and for business owners, a lot of their plans will be set up that they have a Roth component. So most people fund the 401k or the SEP IRA and they get the tax deduction now right. when they pull the money out in retirement it's all taxes if they earned it that year whereas some of those folks might be better off putting some of the money into the Roth 401k or if they're solopreneurs into a solo 401 uh, Roth 401k no tax break today but it grows for years and years and years tax deferred and then when you pull the money out you don't pay any tax that's You've sold me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell people how they could get a hold of you if they want to take advantage of some of these services. Sure. So our website is oneteamfinancial.com. Is that spelled out or yeah, number one? -E -E. Yeah, O-N-E teamfinancial.com. Uh, my email is greg, G-R-E-G, at oneteamfinancial.com. Um, spelled out again, O-N-E. That's mm -hmm. the easiest way to get to Yeah. Cool. cool. All right.